If you spent any time looking at artworks, you've probably noticed that there are two types of drawings. The first is where the drawing is done on white paper. A single pencil is used to create the shadows, and the white of the paper stands in for the highlights. This is the standard method of shading, and we cover how to do this on the previous part of the Drawing Fundamental series on basic rendering. The second is where the drawing is done on a toned piece of paper. A dark value pencil is used to create the shadows. A white pencil is then used to create the highlights. And the tone of the paper is used as the transition between the light and shadow. There are many benefits to drawing on toned paper. For one, it allows you to shade a drawing much faster than the white paper approach. Being able to use a white pencil to create the highlights means that you can create more striking highlights with much less work. Additionally, the high contrast between the dark and white pencil also gives your drawings a more exciting, realistic appearance. It's also a very diverse medium. You have many choice of paper colors and drawing tools, which allows you to explore different styles and designs. And lastly, drawing on toned paper will better prepare you for painting. That's because the two processes are very similar. In painting, you also create your highlights by putting on white paint rather than using the white of the canvas. So the skills you're going to develop by working on toned paper will transfer very well into painting. Needless to say, this is definitely one of my favorite methods of drawing. And in this part of the series, you're going to learn how to use toned paper to create awesome looking drawings. By the way, if you enjoyed this lesson, be sure to check out the full Drawing Fundamentals course at mydrawingtutorials.com forward slash basics. It's designed to teach a complete beginner all the basic skills they'll need to become successful at drawing. Okay, back to the lesson. Okay, let's start by going over the materials we're going to need. For this course, I'll be using the Stratmore 400 toned paper. It comes in two color options, gray and tan, but we'll just stick with the gray for now. This paper has a relatively smooth surface, which makes it work well with a wide range of medium. And it also comes in a variety of sizes from 9.5 notebooks to 18 by 24 posters. Later in the course, we'll also be drawing with white pencil on black paper. For that, I'll be using the Stratmore Artigan Coal Black Paper. Of course, there are many other paper brands out there, and I'm constantly trying out different ones to see how they interact with different pencils. As you get more experience with this type of drawing, you'll probably want to do the same. If that's the case, here are some good brands for you to start with. These papers have a more textured surface, which can help you to get a darker value. And they also come in a wide range of colors. But again, this isn't necessary. If you're just starting out, just stick with the Stratmore papers. We'll need a dark pencil to create the shadows. In this course, I'll be using the Polychromos Color Pencil. I like this option because it allows me to experiment with different colors, which creates a lot of cool possibilities when combined with the toned paper. However, a graphite or charcoal pencil will also work very well. And for the light pencil, I'll be using the General's White Charcoal. There are many options for white pencils out there, but I've found that this pencil gives me the most brilliant white pigment. Now, if you're a digital artist, drawing on toned paper is super easy. Just create a background layer, then choose the bucket tool, and select any color you want. Let's go with this one. Fill the layer with that color, and just like that, you have instant toned paper. Now, just select your favorite brush, pick your color of choice. Create a new layer, and start drawing. When you're ready to put in the highlight, just switch the brush color to white, and go to work. And the great thing about digital is that if you feel like changing the color of the paper, you can do that with just a few clicks. Just select the background color, and use the bucket tool to change it to another one.
Okay, that's it for the materials. Now let's get started with the drawing exercises. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and if you did, make sure to check out the full drawing fundamentals course at mydrawingtutorials.com forward slash basics. You'll get tons of additional lessons and step-by-step -step exercises and learn things like how to draw anything accurately from observation, how to construct and draw objects from your imagination, how to shade realistically, and a whole lot more. So if you're ready to improve your drawing skills, head over to mydrawingtutorials.com forward slash basics or click the link below.